Hey everybody, this is Dana Weaver of I'm a Star Music Productions, and welcome to my episode of the Audio Infusions Green Room Sessions. Who is Dana Weaver? Dana Weaver is a vocalist, a pianist, and a songwriter. I compose music as well. I studied music for 14 years. I've been involved in music for 40 plus years, and I'm multi-genre. I do house, I do soul, neo-soul, inspirational, and gospel. So I don't particularly like to be classified as a house uh, songstress as many people and I, and I appreciate that but I just want you to, all, to know that I do more than house. What got me into singing was, um, well actually I started off as a musician. I am a classically trained pianist and I started at the age of four and from that I moved on to singing. Usually I got my start in the church and um, I was actually a choir director and that's how I got introduced to singing. Growing up, I liked a variety of music. Um, I'm gonna say I liked Cameo, Earth, Wind & Fire, and then as I got older and started really getting into singing, I turned my interest to Anita Baker, people like Phyllis Hyman, Luther Vandross, just a plethora of artists that I can't even think about at this moment. How did I get into house music? Well, number one, it was very unexpected. I was working on other styles of music and I was working with a particular producer and he had some house music and he said, hey, you wanna give it a try? And I said, fine, because I actually didn't think that I was a vocalist who could sing house music. So I did something that surprised myself. And even though the songs were not really big releases, they were released. So it was unexpected, but I'm glad I did get into it. I first thought about making records when I was a teenager. I would get together with my friends and we would sing and I would play music and write music and we would just have a good time. So I figured, hey, I could, I could do this, but I didn't have that confidence. So when I made my first record, which was probably in the early 90s, no one really knows this, I was excited. I knew that I could do it, but I just wasn't really, I guess I hadn't you know, grown into the person who I am today. So when I put out um, Heavenly on Quantize, that was like one of the first major songs that I released and it was very successful. And to get those royalties was really exciting. I thought to myself, hey, I can do this. And it just gave me that motivation that I needed to continue to make music, period. My most memorable live performance was, actually a recent performance was this past March and it was um, down at the Rockwell with Teddy Douglas and T DJ Tons. They host a monthly uh, performance or party, I guess you could say. And I actually connected with my audience, not that I haven't before, but I had connected with them in ways that I never knew that I could. I actually did something that night that I really didn't think I could do. And so that's why I have to say that's the number one top live performance for me. I connected with Poe G Records through DJ Pope. Even though I knew both him and DJ OG, my connection actually came through DJ Pope. He did a remix for one of my singles, I Got What You Need, and then we decided that we would work together. It took a few years for it to happen, but finally last year we got together and he remixed one of my songs entitled A Drive, which is a neo soul song. That originally it was a neo soul production and we decided that we would continue working together. So I'm doing my album through Poji Records. Um, DJ Pope has allowed me to assist with production on some house tunes and things that I never thought that I could do or had the interest to do. So that is how I got connected with uh, Poji Records. If I had the opportunity to make some music with some of the producers out here, I would have to say Josh Milan, Louis Vega, um, even just to make music with other artists such as Pevin Everett, Barbara Tucker, and then if I were out of the house arena, then I would jump to Will Downing and others like that. So that's, I mean, I hope you guys can hear this because I really would like to make a song with one of you.
So what's in my future? Well, I have an album that's going to be released this year. It's entitled I Will Arise. The single will be coming out soon, which is entitled Freedom. So I'm very excited about Freedom. With, uh, DJ Pope and I collaborated on that song. I actually have a song out now. It's entitled It's All Up To Me, which came out last week. So I plan on releasing the album and also other projects as well. If I had to thank someone for my musical, ability, musical abilities, it would be my mom and dad. It was actually my mom who discovered my talent for playing the piano and she pushed me into learning, which I did for 14 years. So thanks mom, thanks dad, I love you.